Hello everyone. I wanted to show you another um, quick way to get some greens in the winter or any time, but uh, really great for winter if things aren't growing. Um, so we've done microgreens um, and I've started a cracky hydroponics system. So you can go back and look at those videos, but this is probably one of the easiest ways and it's sprouting. Um, and there's tons of different ways or different kinds of seeds to sprout. But I wanted to show this particular one. Um, they're mung beans. Uh, here's my big bag. This, so this is a four pound bag. I think it was $13 online. Um, I have no bulk buying ability in my area. Um, not less than an hour and a half away or so. So anyway, I got these online. This is four pounds, I think f um, 64 ounces, I believe. And so what I'm doing is sprouting these. Let me show you. They're rather large beans compared to a lot of the um, seeds that you can sprout. So these are some other seeds that you can grow like sandwich sprouts. Um, this is a mix of salad seeds. So really, really tiny seeds. Um, these ones are bigger and I like them because the chickens and the pigs like them. So this is the way I'm just getting some um, fodder to them. And what I have set up here is um, this is like day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. So you can kind of see the growth cycle. I think I have them all in order. Um, see how they grow uh, and how quickly it can become a big jar of actual sprouts. And these may look familiar. They're in a lot of like stir fries. They're delicious and nutritious, a live food. So, um, and yeah, you can actually buy these kind of bean sprouts already sprouted at a lot of grocery stores. So, but it's so cheap to just make your own. Um, and these jars I started, I think I put about a, a quarter of a cup of the beans uh, in it. And I'm going to reduce that to um, just a couple tablespoons. And I think that'll make it, I'm going to go with one ounce. I think they were an ounce and a half. So... This one bag will give me, if I did a continuous like this, give me 64 days of sprouts nonstop. Um, so I'm just going to weigh out an ounce. You, could, you don't have to weigh it out. You could do two tablespoons, whatever size jar you have. So that's an ounce there. And basically, so simple. All you do... Get your jar. This is a quart size mason jar. Um, I would recommend the wide mouth just because once the beans sprout, they're going to be a little bit more difficult to get out if you use a regular mouth. So just dump those beans right in there and then you're going to top this. Not top. You're just going to cover them with water. And this is my kettle, but it's not hot. Cold water. They will expand a little bit, so just make sure you give them a, a little extra water than you think. And then... Um, I have this, it's just the regular, uh, metal lid, but I made these, uh, inserts for straining. These won't work for the tiny seeds because the holes are too big. Um, uh, they will work for these seeds. Just place that on top, give it a swirl. This first day, it will soak for eight to 12 hours. So if you did this at night, you just let them soak overnight, drain it off in the morning, um, and how I made this little mesh thing, this is, happened to run across this at the thrift store. You know how much I love the thrift store by now. And this whole package, if you can see, was 75 cents. And yeah, there were a few that, like scrap pieces that aren't any good. But I had enough good pieces, big pieces, to make every single one of these uh, lid strainers. And I have all these that are also big enough to make the strainers. So I have a very good supply now of inexpensive strainers for my jars. So you could also go online and find actual sprouting jars. Um, 
are going to be significantly more expensive. Uh, if you do want to do smaller seeds, I don't have my big sprouting jar in here. If you do want to do smaller seeds, you could get a sprouting jar or you might even have some screen like for the time you replaced your window screen and you now have 10 more feet left over. Um, you could try that out. Use a little um, mesh screen and do the same thing. So I just took my marker. Real simple. I just set my jar lid. Let's see if we can get that in the camera shot. I just set my jar lid down, grabbed my Sharpie, drew a circle. And then cut it out. And then once you have one made that's the right size, you can just use it to make all the other ones. So super simple. Like I said, the whole package was 75 cents. So um, that's a great way to go. So you're going to soak these overnight or for a few hours during the day. And then, um, then let them out in the air to sprout. And then twice a day, you will take your jar and rinse them. So I like to try to reuse as much water as I can. So I just dump that right in my next jar. Gentle swirl because you're getting some sprouts occurring and you don't want to break those off. And probably better if I do this over the sink, but I just wanted to show you real quick. So you do want to try to get a lot of the water off. You can leave these jars like tipped over a little bit um, at an angle so that they drain really well uh, so you don't get mold or any funkiness going on. But not necessary. So as, as I rinse these sprouts, they of course increase in volume because they're sprouting, so I'll need to add a little bit of water. And once I rinse the last jar, um, I usually try to capture that water and water one of my house plants um, or dump it outside. So one thing I did want to mention too, and this goes with my last video as well, or um, the one on microgreens is some people do get mold issues so their beans sprout but so does something else bad and one thing that you can do to help prevent that so if you are experiencing that is use a little bit of food grade food grade hydrogen peroxide um, i have not been able to find this in a grocery store but we are very limited here in our area so you might find it um, at yours but just be sure it's food grade and I believe the ratio is one teaspoon per gallon you just double check uh, it's really helpful for seed sprouting so a lot of people even use the the hydrogen peroxide just to sprout regular seeds for their garden um, but what you would do is soak these in that mixture so you would get your ounce of seeds Fill it with water and the prescribed amount of hydrogen peroxide. Let those soak overnight. Drain it off. Rinse it really well. And then that should control any kind of mold that you would get in your sprouts. So um, anyway, that's simple, simple way. Like I said, this is just a continuous thing that I have going on um, from day zero to day six. These are ready to feed. Actually, I had a jar yesterday. I fed all the animals and they had a really good time with it. You could eat it too. So great in stir fries, great on top of salads. These uh, mung beans do not have to be cooked to consume. Um, throw it in a salad. It's a live food. Um, and they're really good. And so I just wanted to say I did reduce the amount of seeds. This is about a quarter of a cup and I just feel like they're cramped in there. And I let them kind of grow an extra day. Um, so I reduced it so I'll have a little bit more space. And so that's it. That's a super easy way to get live food, green food in the winter. Um, or to feed your animals, rabbits, guinea pigs, chickens, pot -belly pigs, goats. Um, when there's not a lot of green stuff outside for them to forage on. Nice little treat for them. And so 
Hopefully you like these videos. I'm open to suggestions or if there's something that you want to know about that maybe I know, you can leave a comment below. Give us a follow on Facebook at Tales from the Mutiny. Also on Instagram at Tales from the Mutiny. Our blog is talesfromthemutiny.com. And give us a shout out. Give us a follow. Thanks a lot for watching.